welcome back to my channel angels a warm welcoming to my new angels for those that don't know me my name is mary barack aka bling mother of three <laughs> i'll include my children soon be patient with me be patient they'll come uh anyways today i'm here with a um with a really interesting topic um the topic is and is how i got over a breakup a heavy six years breakup well i'm not going to talk about the um the body of the story there's a title but i'm not going to talk about the body but i'm going to talk about the conclusion if there's any conclusion of course there's conclusion <laughs> uh the first thing that i got over a breakup a first rule that I put down is God you know if you don't have him in your life I'm not here to force you to believe in him because I can say like you know things like you know all these good things about him and then in the end of the day like you're not going to believe you know if you're going to ask for those stuff yourself and you don't believe deep inside then I doubt it's ever going to work for you, you know. So it's all about believing, believing in God, you know. I've always believed in Him, but it wasn't that deep, deep. Because, you know, like, ever since I came to Australia, I put it on myself, like, you know, I'll be praying every single night. Not knowing it would actually help me out in life, you know. <laughs> I used to pray for this stuff. Everything is coming bit by bit. The stuff that I prayed for... It come bit by bit anyways back to the topic if you don't have God in your life once you're going through the breakup whew, you're going to suffer you will head wrong ways if it's not going to break you that bad to change you it will change your life somehow it's between it's 50 50 good or bad so, how I got over it, how I got over my six years breakup, you know, after three kids, everything is gone, you know, I had my children, I was looking after them, by myself, by myself, <laughs> uh, I thought mentally, I thought everything is fine, but physically, my body was drained. My family would come to my to my house and ask me, like, you know, is everything all right? I'll be like, yeah, everything is fine, but my body's telling a different story. So you can lie, but your body will never lie. <laughs> I wasn't that good, yeah. But anyways, I'm always there praying to God, you know, because the first, th like, how it happened is, I prayed. I basically prayed for negative people to get out of my life and i never thought my husband is one of those people <laughs> but anyways god removed and put good ones in your life so i did not fight it i tried to fight it but it wasn't going well so anyways i had to let go but letting go was so hard but i had to let go i started thinking of the negative stuff that he put in my life you know and the stuff that he never did you know like you know like what am i fighting this where is it taking me <laughs> why am i fighting god's decision you know and they are always praying to god you know give me strength let me look after my children um safe and well and he did he did took about four months it normally takes they normally say it normally takes half of the years you guys dated it's supposed to take me three years but it took me four months it's so amazing God is so amazing he gave me that strength he gave me that love to love myself you know yeah and the second thing is the second rule that I put down is to stay away from 
those people stay away from that particular person you know if God removed you from their life you have to remove yourself too so like I stopped contacting him I stopped you know seeing him and all of that I say no nope, that's it that's it I had to say no I got pushed off the edge I fell down I got up and went to a different direction not back I went forward <laughs> Yeah, it was a, it was it was like the best decision of my life, you know, because I feel like that heavy weight is lifted off my shoulders, you know, like you know, this space, there's love. You get to put that love in yourself, in your children, in your family, and everything goes perfectly well. And after that, it made me love myself even more and more whatever negative stuff comes in my life it just it never bothers me you know and yeah the third thing that I put down is interact yourself with with positive people breakups are not easy they're not easy so one thing I'll suggest you is to stay away from negative people if you're around those neg negative people while you're hurting you will end up doing what they're doing you know and your life will not end up well so have a positive mind be around positive people be safe you have to look after yourself because at that moment with the breakup you just don't care anymore you know you be like what am I living for anyways, you know, if you're not a drinker, you end up drinking, if you're not a smoker, you end up smoking, you know, it depends how you let it control you, if you let it control you fully, that's it for you. And my fourth thing that I put down is, yeah, I already said it, use the love that you have for yourself, that love that you used to love, that person, put it all on you. It's not selfish, but where can you put it? <laughs> you can't leave it, let it go with them. No way. <laughs> put it all in yourself and you will end up having more positive life. You end up loving those around you even more. You will end up like doing things like greater, greater in your life. You know, it's all about that love. Fifth thing that I put down, set goals and get scoring. Mm. You basically have to think forward, you know, like, because um, I haven't worked for like ever since, like, you know, I got into that relationship. I've never been working, you know, I was a stay home mom, which was a good thing, but sometimes if you're not out there you know it's like it's like children you know if you put them in a house for so long they become crazy <laughs> they will drive you more crazy so you have to take them out there outdoor do some outdoor activities and by the time it's like nighttime they come home they have a bath everybody's passed out you know they have a really good sleep so stay home moms for those husbands out there that you know are not looking after their partners looking after a child is not easy live alone children it's not easy so try to like every fortnight you know try to take your wife out look for someone that will look after the children take them out you know let them have that peace of mind they'll come home trust me they'll love you even more the love builds up you know, but if they're indoor all the time, all the time, you come from work, you know, you give them that attitude, next minute they'll give you the attitude, you don't help with the children, you know, it's attitude over attitude, the relationship's not going well, everything just falls apart, like, oh man. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm not here to give advice, you know, to 
relationships i'm not good with the advice but i'm just giving what i have experienced which is so much better because i've been through it you know i can't just throw something out there that i don't even know of and yeah and that's pretty much it you will learn more as you let go you'll have a beautiful life as you let go you know god put people in your life for a reason he put people in your life for a reason because like let's say you were born and you never gone through a hardship you never gone through a struggle you know you will not know the meaning of life you will never be strong later on in the future you know all of this stuff is a lesson for us so if you're still stuck people graduate so if you're still stuck in that one class <laughs> You keep repeating, repeating. Where are you gonna go? Nowhere. <laughs> you won't head anywhere at all. So we gotta graduate, have some degrees, have some PhD, and we end up finding our partners. I'm not saying that my life is perfect, but it is perfect right now. Very well. Anyways, I hope I hope this will help someone out there that's going through a breakup. It's a painful thing, but I hope you stay strong. You look after yourself. Put that one foot forward instead of back, you know, and look after yourself. You are worth it. And someone out there will come for you. Someone out there, believe me, you'll think this person right next to you is your person right now and is not treating you well. Mm -mm. Trust me. You will see later on, you'll be like, oh. <laughs> What did I see in them? <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know what I say. What did I see in them? Hmm? You know, and yeah, I hope you overcome all of that. I hope this video will help you out, get through what you need to get through, and put God first. God comes first before anything else. So instead of like bashing them all the time talking bad about them you know I appreciate them for teaching you something in life you know I know it's not an easy thing but you have to find that forgiveness in your heart and let go forgiveness is for yourself trust me it's for yourself not for them not for anybody around you but for yourself if you find that in your heart that space in your heart to forgive them You'll never have anything worrying you at all. You'll never have to worry what they're doing, all of that, you know, because you have let go. You're ready for the next class. <laughs> <laughs> so, ladies and maybe gentlemen, you know, I don't know how guys take it, but I cannot speak for guys, but for women, I hope this video was helpful for y'all, you know. Remember, don't choose the wrong path. Do not do anything hurtful. Like thinking you're going to pay them back, you know. Like revenge. No. Do your stuff that will benefit your life. It's your life from now on. Not theirs. Your life. So, if you do anything revengeful, you're thinking that it's going to hurt them. You know you're hurting yourself. And you know you're hurting those innocent people that are not meant to be hurt. You know. So. Think wisely. Think positive. Love yourself. Look after yourself. And let go. Life is not easy. Life is not easy. But it's up to you to stay that strong. To stay strong. And. You know. Battle it. Don't be weak. Don't let it stomp on you. <laughs> stomp on life and say that you are in charge. I'm in charge of my own life. And I choose the path that I want to walk through. You know. And God will always be there for me. Regardless. Regardless. They say help yourself and it will help you. So ladies... Help yourself. Stop crying. Wipe them tears. 
it's time to step forward not backwards forward if it's meant to be yours maybe God is going to open his eyes somewhere else and he will, he will bring him back to you but let him catch up to you as you're walking forward instead of you going back mm -mm. so that's it angels thank you guys so much for watching and share this video around I suggest you to share it around because there's a lot of people are going through this and a lot don't end up making it it leads to suicidal it leads to suicidal so like I hope this video will like you share it out there and it will you know capture someone save them that's it that's all we need to do lift each other up as I mentioned in my previous video anyways guys don't forget to subscribe and comment down below let me know like you know drop your comments below talk to me guys talk to me <laughs> Let me know, you know, how you go. If you want to talk to me, you can always reach out to me and let me know, you know. I'll try my best to help you out. And yeah, that's it, angels. Thank you guys so much. And God bless you all. Be safe. Look after yourselves. <laughs>